Now, cantaloupes have a problem. They've got little insects chewing on the vines and chewing on the cantaloupes and chewing on the leaves. So, a friend of mine who's a farmer said I need to spray them. I'm gonna make some spray, and then we're gonna go spray the cantaloupes. Right here, I have an ashtray. Well, it's not really a tray, it's an ash vessel. But it has cigar butts in it. Cigar butts are full of nicotine, which is a potent insecticide. So we're gonna throw these into here. This is gonna make the entire house smell like Cuba. Wonderful Cuba. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells incredible. It's, it's amazing. It's, I actually just want to drink it. It's so good. Now I have my boiled down cigar water and I have a filter right here on top of a jar that I'm gonna pour this into. The filter is a pair of old underwear, which makes an excellent filter. If you have coffee filters, that's uh, probably even better because they're finer. We want this to go into a spray bottle and if it goes into the spray bottle um, and it doesn't have proper filtration, we're going to be in trouble. It's amazing. There's a little bit of Partagas, a little bit of Cohiba, a little bit of Monte Cristo. This is some serious insecticide. Now it's time to up the ante. Yeah. Got one of these awesome garlic crushers, which I totally love. And I am going to smash a few cloves of garlic down into this mix. This is hot water, it's not boiling water, but it's hot. And then, this is going to make this stuff taste terrible to insects and hopefully will repel further insects from coming in and deciding to take bites out of the cantaloupes. Whatever the nicotine doesn't kill, hopefully this will distract and terrify. And just because I have some real hot hot sauce here, let's throw some of that in too. That'll be good. Don't get in my garden, bugs. I'm coming for you. Now, if you were to just mix this together with the nicotine water and then go spray it, it would work to a limited extent. But if you really want it to stick around and stay, what you have to do is add some surfic tint, which is also known as dish detergent. This is going to break the surface tension a little bit, so I'm gonna add a few drops here. Not too much, because you don't wanna burn the leaves with it. But this will help break the surface tension of the water and make it actually stick and into the uh, creases and grooves and everything. So now we have a little bit of soap, we have some garlic, we have nicotine, and we have some real hot, hot sauce. Now I'm gonna use my laboratory approved filtration method and send this on through here too because we really don't want any garlic bits or anything getting into the uh, spray nozzle and just messing this up because it will mess it up. I've tried without straining it and no, don't do that. It's better to just take your time and strain it well or you're gonna end up losing your spray bottle. I'll strain the rest of this and then I am going to funnel it into a spray bottle and meet you in the garden.
see that nasty little beetle right there? That's the bad guy. We're gonna kill him. I haven't actually sprayed anything in years, but I'll <laughs> die. I think I might be able to get used to it. Now when you spray, make sure you spray up underneath the leaves because that's where a lot of these guys hang out. I really want cantaloupes and I'm tired of everything killing my plants since I moved here. And this stuff is not like spraying malathion or DDT or whatever you want to be hateful about because it's terrible poison. So this is good, homemade, and it smells delicious. It smells like good Cuban cigars. I'm gonna go to the other side and do the other side. Put you on the kill cam. <laughs> I think that might do it. I think that was a reasonable thing to do and it was done in a very mature manner. Now this is the same stuff I talk about in my Survival Gardener's Guide to Growing Tobacco. And one of the reasons you could grow tobacco would be to make insecticide even if you don't smoke cigars. You have some tobacco on hand for insecticide in case everything collapses. And it works very well. I mean, the first time I did this, I did it on some grapes about 10 years ago. Grapevines were being eaten up by aphids and I went out and sprayed it and the aphids turned black and fell off. It was really epic. So this stuff works and uh, the garlic and the pepper are just a little extra kick to chase things away and change the smell of the plant so hopefully the pests don't find it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. Check out my weekly post there and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you later. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Mature audiences. <laughs>